with a roar loud enough to shake a forest and a green, scaly skin, it has long been regarded as the slickest villain of the prehistoric world. But according to a new TV program, Tyrannosaurus Rex looked entirely different to the terrifying image so familiar from depictions on the silver screen. The dinosaur had black, bristly tufts of feathers and orange markings around its eyes, while its roar portrayed with so much dramatic skill in Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park may never have existed, with the predator instead emitting a virtually inaudible rumble. In his upcoming BBC2 documentary, The Real T-Rex with Chris Packham, the presenter reimagines what the beast may have looked like with the help of expert paleontologists, claiming early science and popular culture got it all wrong. Through analyzing fossils of dinosaur bones, skin, teeth and musculature, it is revealed the animal may have had more in common with birds than reptiles, including feathers and markings around its eyes. Although the T-Rex in Jurassic Park has a deep green skin, Professor Julia Clark of the University of Texas believes the animal was covered in dark patches. From looking at fossilized dinosaur skin under an electron scanning microscope, she found the same structures that produce melanin, the biological pigment that give us freckles or a tan in the fossilized skin. From this, and by looking at modern animals thought to be related to the T-Rex, she maintains the dinosaur would be colored in a palette of browns, blacks, maybe lighter tones, grays. These would be displayed in patches to break to body outline and act as a camouflage. And in the program, which airs on January 2nd, it is claimed there may have been colored markings around the animal's eyes which could have been used for courtship, or to communicate age, and gender. This is due to the peculiar markings on the T-Rex's skull and the distinctive markings of birds of prey. The feathers depicted on the animal's head and tail stem from discoveries in China have which revealed an earlier related species did have some feathers for insulation. The T-Rex, however, did not need the insulation from feathers. So, after looking at modern flightless birds such as the cassowary, Packham claims the predator may have maintained a light patching of feathery bristles strategically placed for social display. And as well as a different color and coat than we are used to seeing in films, the monstrous roar depicted in popular culture is also thought to be wrong. From looking at the sounds birds and reptiles make, Professor Clark suggests the T-Rex emitted a deep, infrasonic rumble, barely audible to the human ear, and able to travel long distances. The CT scan of a fossilized T-Rex skull supports this. Paleontologist Dr. Larry Whitmer, of Ohio University, claims that the structure of the inner ear was especially sensitive to low-frequency sounds meaning it would be able to hear others of the same species. The scan also revealed that the brain composition of the T-Rex was more like a bird brain, highly densely packed, than a reptile brain. The T-Rex is thought to have had a remarkable sense of smell and highly developed sense of vision, which allowed the animal to coordinate movement of the eyes and body as seen in birds of prey and cheetahs today. The dinosaur had long, blunt teeth which could exert 8,000 pounds when crushing the bones of its prey, 40 times as much as the 200 pounds exerted by the human bite. Although blunt in shape, the teeth had serration rows, which according to paleobiologist Greg Erickson could crack bones, tear away pieces and swallow them, and also cut through flesh at the same time. The bones would literally explode when T-Rex made a forceful bite. And rather than hunting on its own as depicted in Hollywood, it is thought the T-Rex operated in family groups. Scarring on the fossils of adult skulls also indicate they fought with each other, 